You must know Gary Lineker pretty well. Yes, it would be fair to say that I do. Spent you... too many years, some would say, together. Absolutely. So the, his behaviour throughout all of this is, is, is how would you characterise it? Typical? Uh, praiseworthy? What do you make of, of what's happened in the last few days? Well, it could, it could be both, to be fair. Um, he certainly stuck to his guns. He's not backed down. And it would appear that the BBC have certainly gone down and want knee to him. Um, I didn't agree with what he originally said, but the, all the rest of the stuff, I, I can't believe the fuss. You know, and if you really, really think about this, the actual topic that Gary was talking about, it doesn't even get a mention anymore. It's, you know, flying back from USA, the boss man to come and sort out the problems and everything. And it, I, I can't believe there's been such a fuss. And I'm pretty sure, I've texted him a couple of times um, in the interim, and I'm pretty sure he's, he's just like everybody else thinking, what on earth is happening? Mm. So why, why is it so interesting to people, do you think, Mark? What, what can you conclude? What does this story teach us? Um, I think it teaches us that we've, we've all got a view and we've all got an opinion. And I think... Look, we, we wouldn't have this, would we, if there's no Twitter and Instagram and all those kind of things. But and what that's done is it's given everybody a voice, and, and quite rightly so. And, and as we know, I mean, it, generally, it's, it's come down on the side of Gary. And it, even though he's contracted in terms of, I think, with, with his company, he's still allowed to say what he wants. And I think with the BBC is that the frying of their own shadow that's the problem. And I think they've, they've suddenly saw one probably when it really broke out and it was headlines on the, all the news networks, including your own newspapers. The, the, the Daily Mail stopped invading Poland for a couple of days and they were all on it as well. And it's just like, wow, just this thing where he had, he had the audacity to actually say and say what he was thinking. And he was quite right in saying what he was thinking, but maybe not just the original the line about, obviously, Germany in the 1930s. Mark, what about, do you think a lot of it's to do with the fact when people think Gary Lineker, they think the BBC. He's almost the embodiment of the BBC. He's been there 30 years. He's easily the highest paid member of the BBC. And he is he's probably one of the most famous people in Britain. Isn't that why this story's had such, um, such an impact? Yeah, most definitely. And you're missing something. Don't forget the crisps because millions of people have probably eaten the water's yeah. crisps at, at some particular thing. And listen, that's a really funny thing with him because we, we go to games outside broadcast and we've been walking towards a game where all the fans cut mill around and everything. And, and most of the, if you ask the kids kind of under 10 at that time, you say, do you know who this guy is? I mean, they didn't yeah. know who me and Hanson were, but they said, do you know who this guy is? And they go, yeah, he's the walker's crisp bloke. Yeah. So, so it, it's all part and parcel of it, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, Mark, forgive me for not knowing the detail of this, but I don't know when you were last a pundit on Match of the Day and whether you had a Twitter account. Um, but were well, you ever listen, given listen. clear guidance as to what you could and couldn't say online? No. No. You were just, you were just left to get on it. And it, it would, I think the idea was you were, you were intelligent enough not to mm. step over the line. I mean, I made one or two comments myself, but, but nothing, nothing like this. Um, so no, there was there was never any guidance, but I think there was a, there was a massive massive trust, and um, mm. you know you, you just realise you work for the BBC. You're always very very aware that you were sort of on call all the time with them. Can I ask you just finally, Mark? Um, we know that the well, match of the day audience rose by half a million on Saturday, uh, which is rather amusing. I don't know if you watched it. How did you cope without yeah. any expert commentary? Was it rather fun? Well, I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I think they should sack the lot of them. They're Quite all... right, too. <laughs> Save the licence pair of fortune. Absolutely. The highest paid person at the BBC. Get rid of him.